Hey there, I'm CJ Maurer with The Gist, and most business leaders, especially in the B2B space, are trying to figure out how they can maximize a concept called account-based marketing by focusing deeper on target accounts that can help them win bigger accounts and propel scalable organic growth. Well, I'm gonna show you the best way to do that in HubSpot. When most people think about the ABM tools in HubSpot, HubSpot refers to it as target accounts. And they came out with this tool a number of years ago. And most tutorials are probably gonna show you how to set up the tool and use it right out of the box, which is good. It is a great tool, right? But what we're gonna do is show you how to use it strategically. Okay, so first, this is what the target accounts dashboard looks like, right? You've got all of your companies here, and then you can see like how many contacts are associated with them. Any open deals, open deal value, what's the last touch engagement? Is there any future activity scheduled? Then you can click on the account overview and you'll be able to see all of the contacts associated with it and any activity you have, right? So I don't wanna use real data, so this is some dummy data in a dev portal, but you can imagine that when you have our reps actually following up with these companies and multiple contacts, this all populates and it's really, really nice. You can even see how much they viewed your website and things like that. I already set this up in this portal. Uh, but we've got this great little tutorial that shows you how to do it. All you have to do is go into companies, click see target accounts, get started. You follow a couple of prompts, click a couple of orange buttons, and next thing you know, you have the target accounts set up. Okay, so this is great, right? Let's say you have this set up, you've pulled in your target accounts, you've now taught your reps how to go into a company record and set it as a target account so that it comes into this dashboard. Fantastic. You can filter them by owner, by team, by tier, industry, or whatever else. That is great. So it's great for your reps who need to be able to prioritize their outreach by beginning with the target accounts, going into this dashboard, filtering out for the reps that are owned by them, and then following up. But what if you're a bigger company and what if you're trying to scale? And what if there's all of these companies inside your CRM that should be designated as target accounts but aren't? So in order to actually do account-based marketing effectively in HubSpot, you have to first set up the tool, but then you have to automate how target accounts are flagged and designated. And then two, you have to automate the follow-up and reminders to make sure your reps are reaching out to those target accounts. I am going to show you this workflow right here, which is a very simple workflow designed to set target accounts. Your criteria should be different, but you should have a workflow that is named just like this. So in this particular workflow, what we've said is, if the lifecycle stage is qualified prospect or lead, and it's not already a target account, and they have at least 25 employees, make it a target account. Now, I think most businesses, their criteria for whether or not a company is a target account would be more stringent, but just follow my example here. Let's say this is a company that anytime a, a prospect in their CRM has at least 25 employees, they wanna be a target account. So the first action is set target account to true. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna branch it because we have a couple of different tiers. We have tier one, tier two, and tier three target accounts. So we're gonna look into this branch and we're gonna say, if they're between 25 and 50 employees, they're a tier one target account. If they have 25 and 50 employees and their current payroll provider, again, this is a demo portal for the payroll and HR industry, their current payroll provider is Paychex, Paycom, or ADP, they're a tier two because it's the same size profile, but we wanna go after them because we do very well with selling against prospects who are already with those competitors. And then if they're greater than 50, that's a tier three. You can name your tiers however you want with whatever criteria you want. But now what we've done right here is we've created a workflow that will scan the CRM and look for commonalities and designate target accounts, assign their tiers, and notify their owner to say, hey, so-and-so, we've just flagged this as a target account. We now expect you to follow up with them at whatever cadence. Which then, so that's setting them, which then brings me to my next point, which is reminding people to follow up with them, right? You internally, within your sales department, may wanna set rules regarding all target accounts or breaking them down by tier, such as tier one target accounts, we wanna to touch every 30 days. Tier two, every 60, tier three, every 90. All you do here is, here's a workflow that says, if 
the target account, if the company is a target account and they're not like a client or former client and their tier one account that hasn't been touched in 30 days, enroll them. Or if it's the same thing and they're a tier two and they haven't been touched in 60, enroll them. Or tier three and haven't been touched in 90 days, enroll them. And then based on what tier they are, right? It will send a very customized email notification saying tier one target account follow up due. Boom. Hey, you got to reach out. Here's all the relevant information. So now you've automated how target accounts are set and you're automating the reminders for your reps to follow up with them. That's a pretty good system. Now, if you could supplement that with some email templates and sequences and work with your marketing team to create long form resources, potentially some that are tailored for those companies, right? The outreach tools to match the automation and the reminders. I'm willing to bet that that account-based marketing strategy is going to be very effective. Combine that with a nice reporting dashboard to break down target accounts by size, by type, by owner, those that have deals associated with them, by outcome, right? And if that's part of your, your regular weekly or monthly sales meetings with your team, that's gonna be really successful. And bonus points if your marketing team is running LinkedIn ads to those employees at those companies. There's crazy ways you can go really, really deep with target accounts and account-based marketing, but this is the best way to use HubSpot as that instrument for growth. So thanks for listening. This is a relatively simple one, but absolutely love it. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please like the video, subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or criticism or ideas, say, hey, CJ, I want a video on this. Either leave a comment or click the link, go to our website and drop us a line. And we would absolutely love to hear from you. So thanks for sticking around. Appreciate you. We love doing this. We'll see you soon.